watching I am Best TV and my name is Deborah Dambaba and today we'll be discussing on the topic the necessity of a girl child education. Do you think a girl should go to school? Do you think a girl should be educated? Yes, there's this popular saying which says when you educate a boy you educate just a person but when you educate a girl you educate the whole nation. How true is this? Well, these are many more we'll be discussing with our guest this morning. Good morning, ma. Good morning. Can we meet you? Yes, my yes. name is Adewumi Ufule. Okay, what's your occupation, please? Mm, I'm a teacher, profession, and I'm the principal of Bishop James. It's a memorial school. Solid. Okay, and your family background, please? Yes, I am. Uh, I'm from a family of 17 in number. My dad had us 17 in number, and uh, I happen to be number three in the family, and we are good. Okay, and are you the only female in the family? No, we have more female. In fact, we are 12 females and five females. Okay. All right. The topic says the necessity of a girl child education. So, do you think a girl should be educated? Yes. Both male and female. All have equal rights to education. Uh, considering my background, I wish my dad is here now to to watch or be part of this interview. He would have given you more tutorial about that. Okay. You see, a child, every child, have equal right to education because uh, virtually there is really nothing that a man can do that a woman cannot do. This is a woman can be the president. Governor, name it. In our profession, there's virtually everything that a man can do that a woman can do. So, if a male has a right to education, then a female has an equal right to education. Hmm. That's true. Yes, of course, we have prominent people in the country. Yes, yes that the women assume offices. Yeah, of prominent offices. So, all right. There's this popular saying too, which says. When you educate a boy, you educate just a person, an individual. Yes. And when you educate a girl, you educate the nation. So how true is this, man? It's very true and uh, it's correct. Okay. Let me ask you. When you are growing up, yes. bulk of the assignments at home, who takes care of them? Your mom or your dad? My mom. Your mom. And you can imagine if your mom is not educated, how will it be? So that is why that's saying that when you educate a man, a male child, you actually educated an individual. He will go out there to the, to the world, make money for the family, right? But when you educate a female child, that female child, many a times, she is the home builder. She takes care of the home, the children. And when the children have challenges in their academics, it is a mom that is always there. Why that man that you educated is already out there looking for money? The one that you say you are not going to educate, if you don't educate that woman, is a sorry situation. Because all the children will grow up half bit. And that's why I said I wish my dad is here. You see, when we're growing up, they have this notion that it's only male child that should have the best education. And uh, I thank God for my mom who said no, uh, that. We have to go, especially that I have to, I told you I'm the third in the family, yes. and uh, that's the third born as a girl. Then the fourth born happened to be a boy, and that's the first male child in the family. All attention were on him. And if not because my mom stood her ground, somebody like me would be going on for an education. Let's go for a short break and when we come back, of course, more questions await you.
All right, Ma. So what become of a girl after education? Yes, when a girl is well educated, is empowered. Okay. Um, they can go into politics. We have female now. Women of timber and caliber doing well, doing great in the political arena. They can go into any field. Politically, we can be well represented if we are well educated. And we can empower, the, we can contribute to the GDP of the nation when we have more literacy among the female folks. It makes things easier, even as a nation, because we are economically empowered because of education. And so a woman need not to be at home, just bearing children. So what become of them after education is that they are better off. We are not competing with men. Everybody takes their own role. Do you understand? Yes. It's not as if because I'm a woman and I'm educated, I want to show the world that no, that's not what we're saying. Everybody have there is enough space for every one of us to work to. Okay. You know, some persons believe that a woman education just ends in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. That once she gets a certificate, she just hides it under her pillow or just keep it somewhere. So do you believe that? No. Okay. No. It doesn't just end in the kitchen. Uh, why will it end in the kitchen? Yours is it ending in the kitchen? <laughs> and mine is not ending in the kitchen. Yeah, sure. For sure, one of our primary roles as a woman is to go to the kitchen. But that is not the end of every woman. We go to the kitchen. We have not failed. I'm a mother and I'm teaching. I'm working. I have other work I do apart from teaching. And I'm doing well. There are many, we are many in the society that we are doing well. So it's not just that we we end up in the kitchen, no way. But kitchen is part of a room of a woman. Yeah, sure. But we are blending it very well. We have bankers as women, successful ones. We have many of them in the business world. Look at uh, Mama Alakija. She's doing well. And she goes to kitchen. I hope you know that. Yeah, sure. uh -huh. So every woman, we go to kitchen. But that is not to say we end up in the, the kitchen. kitchen. We have a better places outside the kitchen. Oh. But we still make everything together. Yeah. Oh. Alright, have you ever been denied of anything because you're a woman? Mm. Several. Okay. It's, it's, it's one of the challenges faced in this our society. You see, I told you sometime, I told you earlier that I'm from a family of 17, 17. in number, yes. and both of us are female. My dad happened to be, he's retired now, he's an army officer. Along the line, actually, he wanted one of us to go into the Nigeria Army. Okay. I have interest. But his attention was not on me because I'm a female, female child. child. Yeah. And my brother, who happened to be my younger brother, had to write that exam, NMS exam, twice. Oh. And he failed woefully. Hmm. Along the line, I told my dad, he knew I was academically better than my brother. But because of the gender issue, he's looking at it that he knows that he wants to. Now I understand what he was trying to do. Hmm. That he knows that one day he'll be out of the army, so he needed to put a child. Hmm. You know, That was why he wanted one of us to take career. But he never wanted any of the female, even when he knows we have the potential, be more able to, you know, academically we can pass the exams. He never gave me an opportunity. And I remember my mom then would say, let me, let this girl try. He said, no way. There is a boy that must. And till mm -hmm. now, that boy never made it to Nigeria Army. Wow. And, and unfortunately, he, even, he never went to the university. So at the end of the day, I found myself in this line. If I'd been given opportunity, who knows? I might have become with your general. Yeah, exactly, ma. All right, ma. What are the challenges girls face these days in acquiring education and all the skills and possibly solutions to? Yes. The challenges we face these days, the society, many, many still don't believe in girl child. Mm. They don't believe that they can do it. Like when you ask your daughter, when a girl child says he wants to go into um, 
probably a civil engineer. Mm -hmm. He wants to become a civil engineer. You look at it there. You can't go far. Mm -hmm. you, but when you are pregnant with a uh, big tummy, who will put you under the sun? You know, or you say a child wants to acquire mechanic. He mm -hmm. wants to go into uh, mechanic, you know, mm -hmm. a skill. They look at it that no, you can't go under the tire, you can't fix all those things. Those are the challenges because people don't believe that a girl child can make it yeah. in that field. Then when you say you are going into tailoring, they say, ah, why not? Mm. They, they look at it that some are more masculine uh, in nature, they need strength. strength yeah. And while female, they don't have, there is no like that. It all had to do with the mind. When you believe you can do it, mm. you can make it. It's all about the mind. Mm. So the solution is in the problem. They believe that a female girl, uh, a female child cannot make it because of the, uh, the feminine the gender that yeah. is not strong enough. If such a child is given an opportunity and is determined herself, she can do it. She can do it. We have female mechanics now. Sure. And they are doing well. We have organizers that are female and they are doing well. So giving us the enabling environment and believing in us hmm. as a girl child that this girl can make it. You can rule the world. Okay. All right. So finally, what advice would you give to the female out there or generally? Yeah, generally I want to advise parents especially mm. that no, no one is no one can be written off. Mm. Male, female, give them equal treatment equal education because you are not really their god i will advise that parents should not look at a child that is it will be better than the other they don't, nobody knows the future so everybody should be given equal treatment equal education and given equal enabling environment to make it and to every girl child let us have this determination that you can be the best in every field you find yourself Try to be the best. Whether you are acquiring skills or you are going into education, be the best. If you are going into architecture, please make sure you are the best in that field. Yeah. Be the best banker, be the best engineer, and be the best in every area. One day, Nigeria will come up with a female president. Yeah. Very shortly. That's always been our prayer. Very shortly. <laughs> it's all right. All right. Thank you so much, ma'am. You're welcome. Yes. Do have a lovely day. It's a pleasure. Alright viewers, that has been the principal of Bishop James Issa Memorial School, Kwamba, in person of Adewumi Ufulwe. Alright, as a girl child out there, just like she had said, do the best you can do in any field you find yourself. Don't be discriminated. Don't feel less important. You can do more. Of course, you can do better, just like the male child. Alright, keep watching I Am Best TV. I remain your regular presenter, Deborah Dambaba. Bye-bye.